We call this code injection technique early bird because it executes before the process begins to avoid detection by anti-malware hooks. Here we see a call to the create process with SVC host XA. The process is created in a suspended state. Let's also use Process Hacker to see the Explorer XA that the malware injected itself into. This is a fake Explorer exit process. It created here the SVC host XA in a suspended state. It appears here in gray. Next we see some functions. These functions are used to allocate space and write the malicious code into SVC host XA. Here there is a call to the NTQ APC thread. Let's jump to it. It appears that the APC address is at 62F5B. Now let's take a second to run a debugger. We'll attach the SVC host XA and go to 62F5B and insert a breakpoint there. What I expect to see the moment I perform the resume thread is a hit at my breakpoint. Let's execute the resume thread. We go to the fake explorer XA and execute the resume thread function. Then go back to the SVC host XA, click run, and bingo, we have a breakpoint hit. Now let's look at the call stack and see how this happened. Down here you can see LDR initialized thunk. This is the first function that is called once the thread starts to run. Inside the LDR initialized thunk, there's a call to LDRP initialize. Let's have a look what's going on there. LDRP initialize includes a jump to underscore LDRP initialize. If we go to underscore LDRP initialize, we see a call to NT test alert. This is the function that checks if the thread includes an APC, and if it does, it notifies the kernel, and then eventually the kernel jumps to KI user APC dispatcher. And this is the function that runs the injected APC.